In Backup Exec 2012, I'm going to show you how to replace or create a new key for the encryption. So in the upper left hand corner, click on the icon, choose Configuration and Settings, Job Defaults, Backup to Disk. From here we get a new box that shows up. These are the defaults. Click on Storage. This is similar to the Tools options in the previous versions. So these are the job defaults. So we'll click on the encryption type, we'll choose software, and we get a new box that pops up. Now we already have a key that we created earlier, so we'll just go ahead and click Manage Keys to get a new one. So we'll click on New, we'll call this one New Key, and we can choose 256-bit or 128. I definitely recommend the 256, it requires a long password, so just for simplicity, we will do the 128. And you can either choose the common type or the restricted. Restricted is a more secure key. The problem with that is that if you ever lose that, then you will not be able to get that data back. Click OK, and now you see we have the new key set up. We can also replace a key, so we can highlight a key, choose Replace. And it says it's not currently in use, but if it was, you should be able to replace that key so we'll go ahead and hit the drop down. We'll choose New Key. We'll click OK. Go back in. Job Defaults. Back up to Disk. Storage. Now we're going to Manage Keys. So we're going to click on New Key again. This time we should be able to replace it. Select an encryption key to replace New Key. We'll choose Key. Or we can create another one. Key is our other certificate that's encryption key that's in there. When done, click OK. Replaces the key. Click OK. And click OK.